Welcome to this Windows channel and today is another video in which we explore the settings panel in Windows 10 and uh, some of these settings also are available in Windows 8 so you might want to check that out. Today we're going to look at apps and features. Simply go to the settings panel and in system click apps and features on the left side. Apps and Features brings you to pretty much all the programs that are installed on your computer. So it gives you a list that you can search. So you can search for the name of a specific item. Uh, say I want to look at Twitter. I just type it and it's going to bring me the Twitter app. Uh, it also shows you the program. So it's not just apps from the store, but programs you install. You can sort by name, by size. By size could be very useful if you want to know which apps are taking the most space on your hard drive, for example. And uh, show content from all drives because now you can install apps, programs on SD card, for example. So it might be uh, useful to see what's on other drives also. Of course, you've got the list of all the programs and apps. Each program has different types of settings. Some have advanced settings, others don't. So for example here, GIMP has only a uninstall button, nothing special. But the Facebook app has a advanced option. Those advanced options vary from app to app, but often that's where you'll see reset, or you can fix an app that has a problem. And of course, you can see add-ons. What are add-ons? This is something that yet has to be used, but typically um, you could say, well, I've got Facebook, uh, say that they have Facebook Messenger and they decide to have it as an add-on. Well, that means that you could have Facebook Messenger, which would be an add-on to Facebook. That's an example. So apps might have specific add-ons for each type of apps. So you've got the full list. And uh, of course, in here, you've got um, every types of options, including the uninstall button. Uh, you can move some apps. So some of the apps, the move button, you can use it. So if you have an SD card, you have a, a tablet or something that has very uh, small amount of space, you can actually move the app to an SD card, for example, so that it doesn't take space from the main drive. Finally, at the bottom, you've got related settings which brings you to the programs and features, which is pretty much the um, panel where we uninstall programs, especially regular programs. Apps will uninstall directly from the apps and features tab, but programs will uninstall through this um, uninstall a program. So if you click uh, software, uh, you have uninstall. Some software might have more options. So an example I believe is, uh, Microsoft Office, for example, which has change. Uh, these are different options. So you can modify, you can uninstall, and of course, all of that can be organized in different manners. So it brings you to the control panel uninstall um, programs, basically. So it's as simple as that. It's pretty much the centerpiece of everywhere on your PC. So instead of going to the control panel, programs and features, you can actually go here into settings, apps and features. And if you want to uninstall something, all you have to do is click the uninstall button and it will uninstall from your computer. So here, 3D Builder, I don't want to have that. I can click the uninstall button. This is an app. It uninstalls directly from this section. But if it's a program that you've installed from CD or example here, if I click on install and uninstall, it will often bring me to the uninstall on the control panel. Although some of them, as you see here, will be uninstalled directly starting from here. So it's as easy as that. And this is the centerpiece of all your apps, all your programs uh, that you have on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like our videos. And uh, hopefully you enjoy our series on going through all the settings in Windows 10. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, problems, let us know. It's always fun to have your feedback.